EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Marchett here with your outlook for August 16th, 2019. For your Friday, expecting some isolated thunderstorms across the region, mostly cloudy across most of the area today. We have a onshore wind component coming in uh, to the region. It'll keep us a little bit uh, foggy this morning and maybe... Uh, uh, maybe overall o overcast in some locations, and then we'll have uh, mostly cloudy uh, skies this afternoon, and uh, we'll have an opportunity for some isolated to widely scattered thunderstorms. I don't think they're going to be as numerous as what we saw yesterday. Uh, we had on Thursday out in central PA, especially, and up here in northeast PA, had some pretty good uh, storms moving through there that were just continuous. So a lot of uh, activity there. Uh, uh, yesterday, but uh, today we don't think it's going to be quite as extensive. The global models are not suggesting much. As we get over the NAM high res future simulated radar, starting this off at 1 p.m. and moving this forward, we do see some initiation once we get past mid afternoon. So this is going late afternoon now uh, into early evening. This is now 7 p.m. You can see central PA again from Harrisburg up to about Williamsport. You have some initiation here, and then as we get uh, closer to to dark here, here's 9 p.m. and you still have some activity. Kind of those same areas, maybe a little east of there, uh, but that's really the concentration of it today, and then that kind of fizzles out as we head through the evening. So if you're in the far eastern part of the state here, uh, places like Mount Pocono, uh, the Lehigh Valley, down to Philadelphia, you might escape today with nothing. Uh, New Jersey, Delaware, probably escaping much of the day with nothing. Still a stray shower or storm possibility there, but I think the concentration today is right in here and the NAM did a pretty good job yesterday of identifying where that was going to be if you saw yesterday's video i was uh, circling these areas right in here uh for the best thunderstorm activity within our region and guess where it was yesterday right in there so uh did a pretty good job of that so today it's focusing it right in here in the lower susquehanna valley actually the entire susquehanna valley uh from south to north so but these do not look like they're going to be as drenching or as impactful as what we saw yesterday so no severe thunderstorm warnings today i'm not expecting those can't say it's impossible, but uh, not really expecting that uh, today with uh, less forcing to deal with and, and things of that nature. We also have a more stable air mass and mostly cloudy skies today expected as well. Uh, so it should be a little bit better. And then when we get into Saturday, here's what the NAM has for Saturday. Uh, has uh, doesn't have very much. Maybe a stray shower or storm in some areas here, but it looks like most of the area, most of the region is going to be dry. Getting over to the uh, global models here for uh, for Saturday. Pretty much agrees here. Again, maybe something isolated here in, in a few spots, but nothing really over the top. And then uh, it looks like everything stays away after that point. So going into Saturday, we're going to turn warmer. A little, a little uh, kind of near average today. And then we go into uh, Saturday, we turn warmer. And uh, we're in the upper 80s in most locations, give or take a few degrees north to south. And uh, might even come close to 90 degree mark down here by Philadelphia and points south and east on Saturday already. But I think the real heat is going to come in here on Sunday. Sunday, we should get some more areas into the 90s. Uh, global model suggesting nothing at all on Sunday as far as precipitation is concerned. And the same thing here on Monday. Nothing at all here on Monday. So we should have a couple dry days in there. Actually, the Sunday, excuse me, the Saturday through uh, through Monday time frame should be a, a dry time or mostly dry time. So this uh, everyday thunderstorm activity here and there or wherever uh, should uh, take a step back as we head to the weekend and uh, just something stray still in the forecast for uh, for each day. But uh, it looks like we're having a much, uh, much hotter weekend coming in. When I say hot, uh, this is the peak on Monday, I think, and we have temperatures in the, in the 90 to 94 degree range across the region. So it's gonna be a very hot day on Monday. I think you're gonna step up to that here on Saturday. And or excuse me, uh, Sunday we're going to get more areas in, into at least the 90 degree mark, and then once we get to Tuesday, I think it's another day that's in the 90 to 92 degree range uh, for highs. But we will have uh, could have some thunderstorms act, uh, activity to deal with here on Tuesday. Now the global models are only suggesting that's going to be across our northern regions. This is going to be ahead of a cold front and a prefrontal trough, so maybe uh, not all areas get into this. So if it doesn't. Uh, if this cold front doesn't come through, which is hard to see, but the cold front's actually situated like this at this point. So it's, this is all like prefrontal stuff that might make it to uh, northeast PA here on Tuesday. Uh, areas further south, you see absolutely nothing. So uh, this is all going to come down to timing, and this will change around a little bit over the next couple of days. So we'll just have to uh, continue to monitor that. But it does look like the full cold front will come through here on Wednesday. We'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms. Depending on the timing, this could be some severe weather involved with this because this is going to break the heat and send us back down to... Uh, more refreshing day here on Thursday with partly, uh, partly to mostly sunny skies returning and high pressure building in. 
Uh, so that will get us a northwesterly flow, lower humidity. Humidity is going to increase over this weekend and into uh, the middle of next week. So we will have a higher humidity stretch also in addition to the heat wave that is expected. Uh, it could be as little as three days of 90 degrees or more, which is uh, three consecutive days or more of 90 degrees or better is considered a heat wave. Uh, I think a lot of areas get into that and then most likely in the Sunday uh, through Tuesday time frame, but you might have a few areas that get uh, 90 degrees on Saturday already and again on Wednesday. Like down here by Philadelphia, you might have five consecutive days there. So uh, it'll be hot. That's that's the, that's the bottom line, and that's what we have coming this week. But not a whole lot of precipitation to deal with. Uh, not really too much today, and then over the weekend and into uh, you know maybe Monday or Tuesday, we're, not, we're, we're pretty dry through that period. It's Wednesday we have the next chance for a more organized event with a cold front moving through. I'm EPNWA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for August 16th, 2019. Have a great Friday.